This video demonstration will provide an overview of the purpose, contents, and installation of the Probe SDK. The Probe SDK is a set of Java libraries, build and packaging tools, project templates, and example probes that accelerate the development of UIM compatible probes. Probe SDK probes use the Probe Framework Java APIs, which are built on top of the existing NIMSoft API. The Probe SDK and underlying Probe Framework APIs are geared towards the development of the typical use case probe, which is a probe that produces inventory, metrics, cause data, and alarms. The Probe SDK and the Probe Framework provide higher level Java APIs that free the probe developer from having to implement many of the standard components of a probe. You should use the Probe SDK and the underlying Probe Framework libraries if you are building a probe that conforms to the use case of producing inventory, metrics, quas data, and alarms. The Probe SDK use model is based on standard Apache Maven conventions. Apache Maven is a uniform build system that provides consistency for your development projects. It does this by providing a central repository for keeping your project libraries and plugins, allowing them to be shared across your projects. Once you understand how one Maven project builds, you know how all Maven projects build. This convention saves the developer time when trying to understand a new code base. The Probe SDK delivers its libraries, build plugins, and project template archetypes as standard Maven artifacts. To use them, you need to install them in your local Maven directory. This installation is accomplished by the provided installation script. To install the Probe SDK, you simply extract the zip distribution and run the install script. This will install the Java libraries, build plugins, and project archetype templates into your local Maven repository. Let's now do a demo of installing the Probe SDK. Here we are looking at the Probe SDK zip distribution. The first step to installing is to simply extract it to my file system. The next step is to open up a command prompt in, inside the extracted directory and run the install script. After the installation script has completed, we can verify its successful execution by building the examples that are provided in the probe SDK, and we can verify that the archetype templates are available. To build the examples, we first navigate to the example directories. The probe SDK delivers several examples that you can use for study. To build an example, you simply open up a command prompt in the example directory and run the maven install command. After the build completes, the built and packaged probe can be found in the target directory of the example. The local .zip file is the distribution for the probe that we just built. This probe distribution can be deployed to a UIM robot. Another step we can take to verify our installation is to verify that the archetype templates have been installed and are available. We can do that by issuing the command shown here at a command prompt. What we see here is that Maven has gone to the local repository and has found all of the installed archetypes. There are three of them. You can see the last three lines of the display here. Um, we have three archetypes being displayed. All three of them have the group ID of ComNimSoft, but then they have respective artifact IDs of Remote Probe, P-O-B-C archetype, Remote Probe archetype, and Local Probe archetype. These are the three different archetype templates that the Probe SDK provides for you to base your probe development on. In this video demonstration, we provided an overview of the purpose, 
contents and installation of the probe SDK. This concludes this video demonstration.